Hey guys, we're not bison ranching today. We are turtle ranching. We just recently had some turtle trappers come in here and you would not believe what came out of this small farm pond right here. A monster. Holy smokes, that dude is huge. So we did something kind of out of the ordinary on our bison ranch. We had a guy reach out to us wanting to trap some turtles. I said, well, we're trying to get our fish population back in these once awesome farm ponds here on our bison ranch. And he said, well, maybe I can help you. We're gonna get it started right now. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get these traps baited. Kind of surprising, but I didn't really know how or a way to catch these turtles. These traps are pretty neat that these guys had. Pretty simple, they collapse and easy to travel easy to haul around but the bait that we're using today is raw chicken yep raw chicken you guys don't care if i record you do you no i think this is pretty neat we're gonna set these traps in three of our farm ponds today and then in 24 hours we'll be checking these same traps you gotta set them kind of on the banks where when the turtles do go into the trap they still have access to air this is the what we call the halfway acres it's nine acres. It's halfway between two big chunks of our property. And uh, this pond is what we cleaned out uh, two years ago. I think in 22, we had it cleaned out. It went completely dry. It's about a half acre size pond. We had it cleaned out. Uh, we had some local guys to push it and then a big excavator to scoop it out. And I know that's going on right now. A lot of pond cleanouts, a lot of big pond projects, even including my brother-in-law, Daniel, from Irons Family Homestead. Uh, but we have way too many turtles because we're trying to get a uh, fish population growing in our ponds, which we do need to do some, re we need to do some stocking and stuff, but that's what we're doing. These guys are going to catch some turtles. I don't know. We've never done it before. Could be interesting. More to talk. Made it look like it had a on. Uh... See, they've been sliding here. This is where they've been hanging out right here on these banks. I said, there's a bunch of little frogs. You hope we catch some turtles? Oh, I don't want to catch any snakes. All right, so you got your purse. We are, uh, yeah, there's, so there's a trap here. There's two traps in this pond. This is pasture two. We are turtle trapping today. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We physically aren't turtle trapping, but we are a back. So Jerry and his friend came down. Brooks is excited about it. Uh, I can tell you kind of the connection of how uh, this gentleman wanted to see if we had turtles, but um, kind of threw me by surprise. Anyways, yesterday they came and they set a bunch of traps. They set four in our big pond that we cleaned out two years ago. Set two or three in pasture three pond, which is right here. We're on the way to the halfway acre, which is the big pond. One, yeah, I did fall on that one. Is this icy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That's, that's another story. And then two more in the uh, pasture two pond. I already walked by pasture two pond this morning and I saw some in it. So that's exciting. Never been tur turtle trapping before, yeah. but maybe if there's a little bitty one, Brooks, maybe. Yes! Pet Brooks turtle. alone. Yes, pet, turtle. pet turtle. So there could be three or four different species of turtles. I asked my friends and, and they said, oh, I need to get you. <laughs> okay, yeah. who knows? She talked to her friends about it. Well, they're here. We're following them. We're going to Big Pond first. We're gonna make our way back to the Ponderosa. So we're doing something a little different today with the Ponderosa. They set, I don't know, a dozen traps yesterday. They put chicken, you know, like, not live chickens, but legs, oh, thighs, big, big 10 pound bags of chickens. Well, some people may think that, I don't know. I didn't say chicken. Yeah, have a pet turtle. So, I can't tell you exactly, not sure what they do with them, but I know this is a relocation for us. 
he asked me about if I had an infestation of turtles. I said, yes, we want to reestablish a fish population. We have way too many turtles, so he's going to help us out. That's what we're doing today. There has to be a bunch of this one. Tided? I think this pond, this pond looked good about a month ago, but the heat and lack of water. You just dried it up. Looks completely I'm different. I'm amazed at how quickly Two years ago, we cleaned this out. No, it just diminishes. All right, come on, let's go. So you gotta leave your purse. You don't want to take that. The turtles may get it dirty. Should you shut it off? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he looks in here, guys. And she will splat hair up. <laughs> No, you don't get a big one. Hmm. I gotta deal with it. What? Woo! I want a big one, Daddy. <laughs> huh? I want a big one, Daddy. No. I want a big one. Yeah, it didn't take long. Brooks, I have to hold you so you don't fall back. I need to come knock that down with the skid steer. No, we don't want them. Do we? Yeah. Oh, there's a big one. Told you he'd be in this one. Oh, and a fish. There's a, is that a bass? Oh, there is a fish in there. Oh, you got a mud cat in there too. I think he, he's oh, it's a catfish. Oh, that's a, that's one of the Meanwhile, oh, catfish, looky right? there. Yeah, that's a sapper. Got catfish too high. Yeah, the catfish, that's what that was. I couldn't tell what it was. I want a mean one. Oh, well, there's a mean one in here. Yeah, we'll bite you too. <laughs> yeah, look at that, dude. Look. Woo! Oh, there's a fish in there too. Dang. He's probably, I'd say 10 pounds. Oh, 10, 10 pounds? Oh, yeah. So how old do you think? I did when I grabbed it. They, maybe you can get a smaller, smaller one. Those are all decent size. Oh, I want one. Let's go take. Let's go check the other one. Well, so, on. how old do you think that snapper is? Uh, I'll have to look at him up closer in a minute. He's decent. So he's probably he's somewhere around 10, 11. 10, 11, 11 year old. He's stepping in the mud. Ten year 11 year old snapper. Hello. Thinks maybe the, that's that's. That turtle's older than you are, Brooks. Mm -hmm. So that, that turtle's older than you are. My finger's caught. Ow. Let me do it. Oh my gosh! Daddy! Ooh, hey. Yeah. You can give me a kiss in a little bit. I can't tell. It's so dirty. Mm. That's what it did me. Really? Mm. Yeah, folks. He got that soft shell I've been uh, seeing. Yeah, that's a decent size soft shell. Is it? Yeah. I'd, I'd seen him. I knew I saw one. So you got three or four different species of them. Three. Three? Yep. Slatters and... Red ears. And or re yeah, red ears. Is that a... Snapper. Would, is that a loggerhead snapper? Mm -hmm. Snapping turtle? Yeah, common snapper. Common snapper. And a couple of catfish. I'd go through it. I wouldn't sit on it. I'd drop through it. There you go. Nice. They sh I think they're over here somewhere. Spark 
stuck in the shade of her in. Can't hardly see anything, all the weeds. There's one. Alright, honey, you can kill it. There's two right here. They got a decent pot over there. Yeah, that perch got eaten. There's one in there. So we got 18 from the first pond. I don't know how many we have from this pond. Brooks lost count. Blame it on her. Um, there was maybe what? There was probably another 20. Whoa. There was probably another 20 in this pond uh not as diverse of uh pots but um there was definitely around 20 or so but they were mostly i think all of them were red-eared spiders which, yeah pretty common so now i actually checked this pond this morning i saw them messing around uh i just happened to go by and um, i know there's this one be pretty successful here but i don't know what type of different species in, uh, in pond two. So last pond coming up right here. We'll see. Oh yeah. Or they'll just wait up here because I'm probably gonna sink it. Yeah. Right. Woo! Yeah. Got the camera sticking to sink for sinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's silty. Uh oh. Big fat. Got another one. Oh, man. Two snapping turtles. Biggins. Oh, I see that one. Golly. Oh, that one's bigger than the... Here. <laughs> yeah, pond could probably use the cleaning. Look at this tank. Holy smokes, that dude is huge. I wanted to call you with how much that one weighs because I think that one's going to break my record. Seriously? Yeah. I think that one's going to be more than 23. Oh, my gosh. There's three snappers in there. That's some good little charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. Cardell, I'll take the danger, Sam. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, watch it. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Sorry, I could have. We could have thrown them on the ATV for you. Watch the blackberries. Terrible. Back up a little bit. They can reach out there and bite you. Look at this one right here, Brooks. He is huge. Where? This one. Because even shooting them. That's hard. Let that big one come out. Mm, mm, mm. That is a big dude. I watched Turtle Man have him set my cat. First down, grab him by the face. Mm. I was like, you are nuts. Holy smokes. You just figure out of it. Brooks, you want to come see him now? Come see him, babe. I mean, look at the... It's got spikes on its tail. Mm -hmm. That is... Like we were talking about yesterday. That is... Dinosaur. Yeah, him's old. Hey, don't get close to this thing. That old guy. He's got his it's video, didn't it? Soon. Justice. Here, walk around over here. 
Do you know if it's a male? How do you know if it's a male or female? Maybe it's too big for me to. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's a way you can text them. That's probably it. That's if I'm not mistaken. I always get confused. If the butthole's closer to the shell, it's a male. If it's farther away, it's a female. Or vice versa. Mm. Holy smokes. Look at that. Head. I don't know, I'm on, that's, she's 22 to 24, somewhere in there is what I'm calling. Wow. Brooks, can you see this? See the turtle, Ben? Is that not just an ancient animal? Yeah, and see where he's been injured? Yeah, I, could, I was looking at those earlier. Yeah, on the, on the back. Yeah, there's a hole here on this side. Yeah, and in the back. That. People will shoot turtles and <clears throat> think they kill them, but they only kill just a little bit of what they actually shoot because they're hard to kill. We're trying to gouge them or nothing. Yeah. Hey, simmer down. Yeah, that one's buttholes farther away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. So, let me say, I think I told you wrong one ago. I want to say this. Get a bill of hay here real quick. Feeds bison because it's so dry here so dry and we're already putting hay out in uh, september so anyways i know a lot of you guys are going dusty is this legal to trap a bunch of turtles from a pond so yes it is legal jerry has a permit a trapping permit by the state of oklahoma it is a legal thing to do it would just be like um a fur trapping permit or license during december january february in the state of oklahoma you can trap bobcats coyotes raccoons and sell their hides that's legal it's the same sort of thing on these turtles jerry is probably selling a bunch of these um probably to different markets legal markets which allows you to do that but it's kind of if you, if you guys watch Another YouTuber that uh, Marissa and I, and Brooks actually loves watching him, Kendall Gray Outdoors. Kendall uh, just did a video that went viral on uh, getting rid of a bunch of turtles because his pond was infested with those red ear sliders. So Kendall's pond was infested with these red ear sliders, which is the core of the ones that we just got uh, out of these ponds here are our small farm ponds and uh so because you know if you don't stay on those turtles and like for us i used to fish some of these ponds when i was a kid and they're not any good anymore one there's more turtles than fish two we've had some severe droughts and because of that the water's gotten low and which the predation gets higher on your fish which means the raccoons and all other critters the cranes or um, the great blue heron essentially can get those fish a lot easier or snakes essentially and so we want to redo a bunch of our ponds and we want to restock them because brooks really can't catch any fish we i mean we did have one this is the same pond where we caught this monster snapping turtle that is the same pond where we had the fish kill obviously those guys survived it and it didn't harm them but about a month or two ago we had a fish kill just like my brother-in-law daniel from our homestead and uh what it, what happens is it gets so hot algae builds up and it sucks all the oxygen out of your pond and then the the fish lose oxygen and so you have a fish kill um that was the same pond those monster snapping turtles were caught in i really wonder how old those uh guys are um so there's probably some still in some of these ponds and some of the ponds we didn't even trap. So there's no telling what's in some of these other smaller ponds, but it's going to help our fish population because I don't know if you guys know, but those snapping turtles can do some damage, uh, especially a 22 pound snapping turtle. They can eat a lot of food. So with that being said, I'm about to put this bell of hay out. 
I think it's gonna help our ponds uh, tremendously. That way we can get a fish population going and as a family, we can do uh, catch, clean, and cooks. Uh, we can get our ponds in stable condition, get some perch in there, uh, some minnows, whatever, get some life back in there, some biology back in there, not just let the turtles invade these small ponds and get them back to where they were. 20 years ago when I was a kid in high school fishing these ponds, which is my connection on how we got to Ponderosa, by the way. Thank you guys for watching us. Keep on by us, Ranch.